Hi, um, I'm Brian Wagner here from Wagner's Rose Nursery and I'm going to show you just a couple of very easy steps on how to plant what we call a bare rooted rose bush. Now I've got a two year old plant here um, and we're going to plant this and I'm just going to show you uh, how I want this plant cut back and how I want it planted and it's going to be a couple of very very simple easy steps. Uh, this is what you generally receive from a garden centre during the late autumn uh, winter months. It's what we call a bare rooted rose bush, just in a, in a, in a bag with some uh, um, potting me medium around it. Um, generally, you can sort of keep these uh, plants in these bags for, uh, for, for quite a while, actually. Um, preferably when you receive this plant or purchase this plant, you would want to try and get it in the ground as soon as you possibly can. Um, but if you're not too sure, if you're not right to sort of plant this uh, bush, you can most probably hold it for a month or two. Um, when you first get it, um, put it maybe in some in some water just overnight and make sure that the uh, uh, there's plenty of moisture around the root system there's generally small holes in the bottom of these bags so that uh, so that they don't hold too much moisture if there isn't for, for whatever reason just maybe punch a hole on the very bottom of the bag so you've got drainage in that uh, in that bag and uh, um, and just keep it moist um, but preferably plant it as soon as you get it so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this plant out of the bag. Uh, this has been in this bag for now about three weeks. Um, just pull it out. And as you can see, we can just break that off a bit. That root system has been cut back quite hard. And you can see how this small root's just starting to form on this, uh, on this plant. So that's a, that's a really nice sign. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this plant back very, very hard. The problem that we have in this industry is that when we wrap plants or sell plants uh, to the industry or to the market, we generally have quite big tops. We would prefer to cut these back much harder, but obviously size sells these plants. Um, when we put machinery through these plants, when we're cutting, undercutting these plants, we actually sever uh, most probably 90, 95% of the root system. Now, we can get roots on these plants up to two metres long. Um, but we definitely don't cut off 90% of what's on top. Uh, we generally remove, say, 50% of what's on the, on the top and we remove 90% of the root system. So what I'm going to do here, with the pair of secateurs, I'm going to cut this back really hard. Now, you may be quite reluctant to do this, uh, but believe me, this works and the, your plant will grow much, much better. So I'm just going to cut it back very hard and this will grow much much better by cutting it back as hard as I have. I'm just going to dig a hole. This is going to be a really simple, quick, easy way to do this. And the ground is a little bit dry, would you believe? With this is we're now in late or mid-June. So get your hole as deep as you possibly can. Now as you can see, this is a perfect example, you think that the ground's going to be nice and moist. We've had quite a bit of rain in this area over the last couple of months and it is still dry underneath. So try and break your ground up. As you can see here, I've got some nice loose soil underneath this plant now. I'm not going to put any fertiliser in this, in this hole. You can see how deep that's going to sit. I want it most probably just up a, a little bit from that. So I'm going to put a little bit more soil back into this hole. So just break it up a bit, spread your roots out a little bit and just place it in there and now just backfill it. Break your soil up, get rid of any green vegetation, any green matter in there, just remove it. Push it down, get it nice and firm. I'll get a little bit more soil out. I want it right up to the bud union. And partly the reason for that is that the root system's down nice and deep and the plant's going to be so much more stable. 
what I'm going to do after this is that ground was a little bit dry which was surprising to me uh, as I was saying we've had a fair bit of rain over the last uh, month or two and it's still sort of dry underneath uh, that's all you have to do now look what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to give this plant a very good watering and I'm going to leave a little hose I'm going to leave a hose on this plant and just let it trickle and I'm most probably going to let it run for maybe 15-20 uh, minutes so that I know that there's plenty of moisture down at the base of that root system um, and that's all you really need to do uh, and that's it that's as easy as it is to plant a rose bush